The very first thing that we need to understand before we get started with speed is something called requests. What a request is, is like a resource, like an image or a CSS file or another piece of information that goes on to actually make your website. The reason why it's called a request is because your browser requests that from the server where your, where your website is stored and then the, the information is sent back to the browser to be displayed. Let's have a look at a couple of requests now. OK, here we are inside GT Metrics again. Now we're going to come down here and click on this Waterfall tab down here and we'll start to see all the different resources that are being loaded. These are requests. Hence it says here, a request by request visualization of the page load. So a web page is made up of many different components. We'll go into those soon, but very quickly, let's have a look at what GT Metrics actually says about this page. If we scroll down here, you can see all the different requests are actually listed here and it's telling you the total. There's only six requests loaded on this page. So you can see a breakdown in this graph. It shows you exactly what type of files or requests are actually being placed for this particular website to load. If we come up here back to the actual waterfall tab, it will give us a bit more information. You see here, there's the six requests here again on the bottom left hand side, but now it's telling us the actual size of the total number of requests. And now you've got something new here. It's uncompressed 505, so obviously that must be compressed if it's 449. So this is about how the requests are actually sent to the browser. 449 kilobytes of requests have been sent in six requests, and then the browser unzips it because the total file is 505 kilobytes. If we come down here and just hold our mouse over some of these, you can see what they all are. What is this one? Well, it's a lazy load. .min.js. So this is a JavaScript. So this is getting a little bit more technical, but you can start to see these are the different resources that are going to make in this page. And in this case, specifically called requests. So there you go. That gets you understanding now about what a request is. Basically, it's a resource like an image or a JavaScript file that is requested from the server and then downloaded into the browser. Then the browser does its magic and displays the web page back to you as the user.